Hey, hey, Auntie Babies and Boogie Woogies. Yes, how y'all doing? Well, I just come out here to give y'all some little history lesson for this Black History Month, how the schools and stuff were integrated when I was in the um, fifth grade. Yes, they was, um like I said, you know, on my last videos, how my brothers and them would come home with the shirts tore off of them because they wanted to segregate the schools. They they wanted the black and white to go to school together. It was a hard time to get the black and whites to go together, to go to school together. That wasn't an easy task. People was shot, killed. You know, a governor was shot. George Wallace up there in Alabama. I know y'all probably don't know about this story, but it was a hard time. Back in those days, it was so hard to segregate the schools. You know, the a lot of the white people did not want to segregate, segregate the school. They did not want to integrate the schools. They want to keep the whites going to the white all white school and the blacks going to the all black school. But you had to realize that the black schools wasn't on uh, the black schools was behind, even the colleges and stuff. So anyway, you know, I was in like the fifth grade. <clears throat> I was in like the fifth grade and I, I I had a black teacher, but she wasn't gonna be there alone, Miss Ford. She was just gonna be there until the white teacher came. And Miss Ford used to often just sit there and she used to cry. And you know, she, she made me her aide. I was in charge of all the other students, making sure, passing out their papers, making sure they got their work and stuff. And Miss Ford used to sit there and cry. And during that time, I was only in the fifth grade. I didn't understand. That's all I knew. That I had to go over here to this school and I would be going with white kids. Never went to school with white kids in my life. Never communicate with white kids in my life until I was in the fifth grade. Now, up north, they had already segregated the schools up there. But down here in Florida, no. No, no, no. Florida wasn't having it. You know, if I was in the fifth grade and I had went to school from first to fourth grade, all black school, till I got in the fifth grade. And Miss and Miss Ford was saying, well, I got to leave, Brown. She say. And I want y'all to mind your new teacher. I say, why you got to leave? She said, because of the school regulations and stuff. And I didn't pass the test. I say, pass what test? And during that time, they was giving all the black teachers. And this this uh, Miss Ford was old. And she had graduated from, from Methuen College. I don't know if y'all ever heard. But a lot of the black teachers came from Methuen College. They like um, they had to retest them and stuff to be teachers because it was like the school just gave them their certificate and stuff. They weren't really, and you know, and they was retesting the teachers, the black teachers. All this happened if the black teachers didn't pass the test, they wasn't able to teach school. They would have to go back to college because a lot of them just went there and paid the money and got their certificate for school. And Miss Miss Ford, she was crying, you know, and she she really wanted to teach because she said Miss Ford was pretty old too. She said this was gonna be her last year of teaching and stuff. And I said, Well, I'm not gonna we ain't gonna never mind her, Miss because we want you here. So Miss Ford, she ended up leaving. She was replaced by a white teacher named Miss Burrell. I never forget Miss Burrell. I didn't like her. I just didn't like her because she was white and Miss Ford had to leave. But at the end, things worked out. Miss Burrell came. We were so mean to that woman. We did awful things to her. We did not mind her. <laughs> she used to get so upset. Till she would start crying. She would just start crying. She'd say, oh, you guys have no prejudice. 
I don't know why people teach y'all that. I I love I love y'all. I I hate the world. I hate the way the world is now. And see, Auntie seen all this, you know. And see, I didn't realize. I thought all white people was prejudiced, but I had to come to realize all of them is not like that. All of them is not like Billy Bob, you know. And some of them out there do love us, do love us <laughs> like we love them. And I say, well, you don't like us because we're blind. She said, oh, Loretta, why would you say something like that? Don't you never think nothing like that? I say, well, that's what they be saying and that's what they be saying on TV. She said, no, I could never. I hate people who don't like black people. She said, that is going on, but I'm not like that, Loretta. She said, I'm here to love y'all and show y'all the way how to love each other and get along. And so end up Miss Burrell, you know, she came, we end up liking her. She ended up being one of the best teachers I ever had. I guess that's why Auntie still remember her name. But you know, back there in the 60s and stuff, it was a whole lot, you know. Um, people went through a whole lot, you know, the integration and also the teachers. The teachers lost their jobs and stuff. The black teachers had to go back to school and stuff. Because they said that they wasn't educated enough to teach the children, to teach the white kids. This It was really sad, you guys. This, you know, it's a whole lot of stuff happened. And I'm right here in Florida. You know, up north, black and white was already going to school. That's what my uncles and them used to call and tell my mama. But down here in Florida... They didn't integrate school till I was in the fifth grade. Yes, Auntie Loretta was in the fifth grade. So that's a part of the little black history story I want to tell y'all this month. And uh, I'll get with y'all soon. So Auntie Babies and Boogie Woogies, this, this journey have not been easy. But I will try to come out with another story because then I went back to more Mickens. I was in the sixth and seventh grade. The white people had to be bused to the white, to the black school then. And I'll come back with that part. Okay? And I talk to I will talk to my auntie babies and boogie boogies later. And like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Tell all your friends. Tell all your friends bye. Love you, Auntie Babies and Boogie Woogie. Bye bye.